So <laughs> we back um, with Tyrese and his ex-wife. To which he's saying there she's back in court trying to get more money. I'm just gonna let it play. So here we go. Requesting that I send over all of my tax returns and all of my bank statements because she's trying to get 20,000 and I think they're trying to take it up to like 40 and they've been looking at all of my movies and all of the concerts and shows that I've been doing and they're over there like blood sucking lawyers rubbing their hands and Samantha's doing the same thing rubbing her hands and they're going oh shit you know for the last year and a half he looks like he's been doing really well. Let's go ahead and get them bank statements over here so we can figure out a way to get this law firm another $600,000 that we're asking for in legal fees. It's a dirty, dirty game out here. Well, y'all gonna keep waiting. Y'all pray for me because I am hearing that the appeals court around my case, my case is going to be, my case is being appealed. My divorce case is being appealed and they're going to give me the outcome of my appeal. So, you know, <laughs> it's the greed for me. You don't need no twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars a month to take care of no kid. I don't care if you had two or three or four per month. You don't need that per month. It's not necessary. If you that broke and it was about the kids and it was about taking care of the child and making sure that the child lives the lifestyle of the father, then give the child to Tyrese. And then you be the weekend gym shoe mama. You do it. That way, his child will be living according to his means all the way. You won't have to worry about full-time custody. And you will be able to visit your child. What gets me is the level of deceit that was utilized to even get this man to marry you in the first place. And then further, if you wanted access to his money, you were his wife already. So you had access to the lifestyle. You had access to the mansion and the cars and the money. You had access and any child or children that you would have had with him would have automatically had access because you guys are living together. You guys are together. You guys are married, a married couple. And Tyrese doesn't seem to be the kind of guy that, uh, you know, is going to be stingy and this and that. Like he isn't new to money. He's not new to having a few dollars, right? He's been an actor for years. He's been a singer for years. So... It's not like he doesn't know or, or you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, this is not a new lifestyle for him. He's been living this lifestyle comfortably for quite some time. And you from, from, from the story that he told about how they met and how they got together, she was trying to come off as this chick that was not materialistic. Basically, she played like she was a lioness, like... She would be there for him, not for his money, um, and wanted to be in a relationship with him just because she wanted to be in a relationship with him. Turns out that's not the case at all. She's full. She's gone full hyena, 
we know that our mother's behind it just from stories that we covered in the past about how things went down, how she moved out of the house and all of those sorts of things, both from the way he told the story and from the way she told the story. And so I just find it to be just knuckleheaded. Like, and then she still tries to portray herself as if this isn't what she does. Still trying to portray herself as if she's got this deeper spiritual connection with God and she tries to move in a righteous way, things of that nature. You know, she's just a flawed human being, but she really be trying to move in a godly way. This ain't godly. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not even one of the type of people to try to um, browbeat somebody with God or browbeat somebody with whatever religion they say they come from, because I do know that people are flawed. There's no such thing as a perfect person, you know, or anything like that. However, with that being said, we know what's right and what's not right. We understand the difference between right and wrong. We understand the difference between doing somebody dirty and not doing them dirty and knowing what God would, how God would want us to treat people. Because no matter what, this is a man that you agreed to marry. He proposed to you and you accepted it. You accepted living with him. You accepted being his wife. You accepted having a child with him. And then you broke the family. You broke the family to this day, still have not heard any reasonable explanation as to why she broke the family right and it's been years he's been doing in this divorce battle and child support battle and all of these sorts of things with her this is how you know it's hyena behavior in too because she doesn't know how to just leave and make an amicable divorce you know what I'm saying? And leave quietly, whether you have the custody of the child, 50-50 custody, whatever the case may be, let that be amicable between you and that man. And you move about your own way and you continue to do your uh, YouTube channel or whatever it is that you're doing. And he do what he's doing. And you don't cause more drama than is necessary. But then again, none of that is lioness behavior anyway, because we don't just frivolously and arbitrarily break our marriages for no reason. 